Larry and Jane Ellison are rural entrepreneurs. They began with one fuel station and built it into Rural Fuel, a fuel delivery business for the agri-sector. While involved in this business, they became aware of the fuel shrinkage problem. In response, they developed a way of keeping track of fuel levels remotely and reporting back to fuel owners via a simple dashboard. This technology has now found applications in the dairy industry. CEO Ray Connor explains. Leveno, quite simply, is a remote monitoring device that allows farmers to see exactly what's happening on farm at any given point in time without really needing to be there. At the moment, MPI are working through a process of putting in place new regulations, essentially milk cooling regs, which require milk to be chilled or cooled within you know, a certain time window of milking. So there's a lot of focus in this area on trying to find solutions for that problem. Essentially, this is us. You know, we try and keep it pretty simple. Um, the basic idea behind, uh, behind our system is that we've got a, um, a transceiver on farm. Uh, those, that transceiver talks to a couple of sensors, you know, a raft of different sensors, uh, and then based on what each of those sensors are telling the transceiver, that's then communicated via a SIM card to our Levno architecture, and then that's sort of sent back to the farmer in a, a really simple, intuitive dashboard. The base technology works on a cell network, so where the range isn't quite good, we can extend that out and we can ensure that it is. Inside that green dome, you know, sits a pretty impressive uh, module that allows us to calculate the difference in volume between the top of the dome and the top of the milk. Then we're able to calculate based on that equation how much milk's sitting in your milk bag. What we've got here is the farmer's dashboard showing it here on a laptop, but equally you can see it on your own smartphone, iPad, tablet, I mean whatever device you've got, we can show you all of your on-farm data. We're big on data security so we're never going to show an existing farmer's actual data, um, we protect the footage. Um, but here what we're able to see in a, in a essentially across four metrics is uh, the tank volume, uh, vat temperature, um, what's actually happening in your, um, uh, your plate cooler uh, in terms of the plant, uh, and your agitator, whether or not your stir is working. From that, we can drill down into what we call our alerts function. Let's say we want to know, for example, if the milk is too warm under the new regs, click that button quite simply. Uh, look, send me an alert by email, or actually send me one by text message. Um, hit save, and that's as simple as the alert set. I've been watching what Lev and I have been doing for a couple of years, but didn't take it on until about six months ago. Our family business has grown quite a lot recently. Our main business is asparagus farming, but we've got two dairy farms as well, which I no longer run day to day. So there became a need for me to, to see what the farms are up to and make sure I didn't have milk cooking and things like that, um, which is when the Levno system was going to provide the most value to me. It's got me out of jail once, so we had a problem where a staff member actually left um, the refrigeration unit off one weekend with relief staff, um, and it alerted me to that early enough that we could get that milk chilled and had no problems with sending that to Fonterra. Um, so that's, that's been the, the way of getting my investment back straight away, I guess. Um, but then day to day it tells me if my pre-cooling's working properly or not. Um, funnily enough, if I drill into it um, and see when the milk starts going into the vat, it tells me when my staff are starting milking, um, so I can monitor those types of things as well. Um, and it also tells me the, the temperature of my wash and things like that, so we've had a few grading issues on the other farm, and I was able to dig in and go back into the history to see how hot my my hot water was and then I could basically rule out that there was nothing wrong with, with the hot water side of things and we investigated you know, the, the real issue to what was going on.